Welcome back to our channel. In today's digital age, there are various business models to choose from. Two popular options are dropshipping and traditional business models. Let's explore the differences between these two approaches. Left corner, traditional retail, the veteran powerhouse known for its brick and mortar dominance. Right corner, introducing dropshipping, the heavyweight champion of convenience and scalability. The challenger, dropshipping. Born in the digital age, dropshipping has taken the world by storm. With its low barriers to entry, global reach, and hands-off inventory management, it's a force to be reckoned with. Dropshipping allowed you to start your business from your living room with just a laptop and an internet connection. The freedom and flexibility it offers are unparalleled. You can source products from suppliers worldwide, offering an extensive range to customers. Plus, the ability to test and pivot quickly has been a game changer for the profits. But wait, there's more. Dropshipping isn't without its challenges. Shipping delays, supplier issues, and intense competition can make or break your dreams. So can it stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the reigning champion, the veteran, traditional retail. For decades, traditional retail has been the backbone of the economy, providing physical experiences and a sense of community. There's something magical about stepping into a physical store, browsing the shelves, and connecting with customers face-to-face. -face. It's an experience that can't be replicated online. Sure, online shopping has its advantages, but traditional retail allows you to build lasting relationships with customers. You can provide personalized recommendations and create a loyal community around your brand. But hold on tight, because traditional retail has faced its fair share of challenges, from skyrocketing rents to evolving consumer behaviors. Also, a traditional business will always be limited by a demand for your service or product. This type of business is commonly limited by its location as well, and traditional business has very limited flexibility. Most business owners cannot manage their business on travel. So, is dropshipping better than traditional retail? It depends on your business needs and goals. Dropshipping can save you time and money on inventory shipping costs, but may limit your control and flexibility over your business. Figuring out which business model is right for you will determine on what you value most. If you value your time and flexibility, then dropshipping is tailored for you. If you don't mind a traditional business model, for the sake of a simpler and offline experience, then go all in. And it's up to you to find out what type of lifestyle you would like to get from it.